David, talk to me about the Biltz ISG heat shrink machine. Who would buy it and why would you buy it? Okay, so the heat shrink machine is a, it's an alternative to using a collet chuck or a hydraulic chuck. Right. Yeah. It's much stronger um, clamping forces and it's the run out which is the, which is the benefit. And also uh, in, in today's die and mold five axis machines, axis is a problem. Uh, you can have much longer tools with extensions on when using heat shrink. Okay, all right, give us a demonstration. Okay, so here's a solid carbide tool yep. uh, and a, a tw uh, 20 mil holder. We can put that into the built shrink holder. You'll see that there is a, a small counter bore there that assists the loading of the tool. Right. It's not there specifically for that reason. Uh, when the induction coil comes down and heats up the tool, it doesn't actually heat in that way. It heats like that. So it does actually pinch the top. So in order to, to get over that, so you don't have to put so much heat into the holder, we put that little counter bore in. But it does assist the operation of putting that in. Okay. okay. So this is a 20 mil holder. We would now put a, a stop disc in there. This is uh, to prevent the uh, induction heat coming from the coil into the tool and it keeps the tool warm. Keeps the coil cold, sorry. Okay. So now we've, uh, we've put the induction coil in, in place. This is a manual version machine. We would then go to the parameters and we would choose the 20 mil diameter, which this tool is. From there, we can press start. That is now heating up. The induction coil is working. This is going from room temperature to 350 degrees C. And we can place that so in So depending on the diameter of the tool, would depend on the heat that it heats up to? Absolutely, yes. There's, a, there's also the percentage of the coil which is being uh, used. It can be sort of 25%, 80% for two, three, four seconds. Okay. Once that tool has gone in there, now we need to cool it down. This is done by moving that out of the way, moving this uh, shroud up, and we press cool. This is the manual version. This is kind of the startup version when you've only got a few tools. Uh, and for, for occasional use, you know, 10 tools a day, this is, this is absolutely adequate. And that will cool that tool down back to room temperature in around 30, 45 seconds, something like that. And how many times could you do this with a, with a back end? Or with a, with it, it's an interesting question and a lot of people ask that. Um, there are parameters that are in this machine, providing you stay within the parameters. They did a test in Biltz in Germany. The, the guy was given the task, he, he shrunk one in, he tested the, the gripping force, tested the run out, everything was fine at the beginning. He did the same test after 10, 50, 100, 1,000 and then 2,000. At the end of 2,000 shrinks, there was the same clamping force and there was the same run out. They basically said they give up then. Providing that you don't abuse the tool, then it should last at least 2,000 shrinks. Right. That right. is now in there and that is now hand touch. So what would be the run out? I know I suppose it depends on the length of the tool. But it? normally at two times D, you're looking at three microns run out. Yeah. Okay. Which is a vast improvement for your, your collet chuck. So that was the manual version. So this is the automated version. Yes, that's Talk right. To us about this model. Uh, with the health and safety uh, being more and more in people's consciousness uh, nowadays, uh, it's very, very important to make these processes as safe as possible. This really is the ultimate uh, for speed and safety. This is a, a high-speed steel cutter, which we will put in in exactly the same way as we did on the manual machine. Okay. We, we call in the correct parameters and we press start. You will see that this time everything is automatic. Right. Down comes the, uh, the induction coil, positions itself in the correct position, and the induction core will then start to heat. That again goes through uh, three or four seconds. At the end of that time, you can see that the tool sinks down. Okay, okay. There's a dwell time which you can set just to make sure that you've adjusted everything correctly. At the end of that dwell time, the tool then disappears down into the bowels of the machine where it's cooled with the cooling water and the induction core then goes up out of the way. Right. There's no way that an operator can get his hands anywhere near that hot tool. Uh, it's very, very useful for uh, repetitive work when you're changing over a lot of tools. So, so the actual functionality, we're doing the same process, but yep. just, just basically automatically to avoid any health and safety exactly issues. Exactly that, it assists with that, yeah. So these machines, David, available from LMT in the UK? They are available from LMT in the Exclusively UK. Exclusively from LMT in the yes, UK? Exactly. And there we go. The tool has now come up. It's touched uh, dry and blown dry. There we go. Ready to go? Ready to go.